Quick, like and subscribe in the next five seconds to avoid bad luck during 2020. Please, no, no, no! eliminations now reach can anybody stop him uh reach get 18 kills what take notes ladies and gentlemen reach is on a tear here hey fortnite moments fans want more v buck giveaways make sure to use code beast in the item shop And we'll continue to give out redemption codes just like this. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you don't miss out. Top 100 spots are going to be solidified here. Booga up in first place. Arkham from 100 Thieves is going to be taking second. That top five, besides Booga, is a who's who of competitive NA West Fortnite. Absolutely. And that's the thing about NA West, like we said before, it's that elite group is always up there, right? They're constantly swapping back and forth between who's taken first this tournament, who's taken first that tournament. Player we haven't seen much of today is Silent. He's going to be rolling up on the notorious Benny here, who's on the run right now with no weapon. I think he did just find something else. He might be swinging around and no, the no scope, the YOLO scope was not going to connect here. So Silent's going to find himself a nice little kickoff here. Let's see, Inio. He's got some good points. Is close by Frist, who's also having a great he's tournament chasing. so far. Yeah, he's running away, though. I, I think that he knows. Yeah, crash pads are coming through. Frist knows that Lizinio has nothing right now, and he might be able to get it, but no, he actually breaks the line of sight with the bridge and should be able to get around the corner even more. And I think Frist is now out of crash pads, though. He waits. An oh AR will actually make this fight possible in 100 mats. This is doable for Litzinio against Frist. I think only has a pistol on the backside, but those beams will make things very hard. Five builds remaining. I wonder if Frist actually farmed on his way here. A jump shot attempt, not going to connect. Here it is through the builds. They're over, but Litzinio responds. A nice AR shot to bring him down 33. Still kind of even, though. And I don't know if Frist has any heals. I think somebody even on the other side. No, it's a medkit from Frist. Bandage for Lazinio, and he recognizes that, so no opportunity for Frist to actually pop it. And with the bandages, they're quicker off that drop. We'll make things really even, though not the pressure coming in. He might actually let that happen. No, the wall edits. Now Frist on low ground, probably with no mats. Rolls have been reversed. The patience there, too, recognizing the limited ammunition, taking his time with the fire. This is Frist's last opportunity now to get away. Or turning the fire back. No, the launch pad. It's all up to the first shot accuracy. Lazinio is going to find it. And just like that, the tables were turned. There's another fight that's happening now. It's Girdle versus Aviat. Who's up on behind here. This is his wall, though. He's pretty much defaulting to giving it to him. He trades with a full-on shot. Jumps in the box. Um, He's okay. the Elim for free. <laughs> Girdle's like, thank you, Aviate. I like that. You can jump through my wall that I just edited for you and go into my fully built box. That's fine. I'll take the first shot and edit through to my AR. Clicks in this game, too. Takes out one already at Pleasant Park, so that off-spawn fight that he's been improving at throughout the day is continuing. What a... What a quick difference here. I'll spawn Midi now in a fight as his own. There's a player on the back side and he will make that work. I believe this is Salty Springs. Yes. Midi who was in the top 10. Also one of the better players on NA West. Claims Salty Springs and gets this. So high sky in the feed there. You see Epic Whale as well picking up and Pepper's actually going to find clicks over in Pleasant Park. Another lobby though. We have Wavy Jacob. Enterprise Jacob here looking for some big shots. Yes, he's going to find what he needs to find himself another Elim as well. So things hooking up across multiple lobbies right now. Bit of a standoff here now between Cheaters and Sh Shaifu here. Cheater RR trying to find something, but Shaifu's got the advantage. He lands the first shot from up above. 
We saw Cheats RR get a second place in one of the games we were watching. Now the crash pads for Shifu will really cause chaos. Cheats gets all the way up. He's like, hold on, I have to actually be safe here. Make sure you aren't going to escape to a different high ground position. The crash pad in the box might force it to go all the way, but no, Shifu still gets the movement away. Now they've actually put some space in between this. Breaking the crash pads. It's going to be another one to the box. Yes, a big shot. Cheats will get there right in with the crash pad. Shifu, no chance to actually pop that shield. He saw the opportunity to get through that. Saw cheaters, cheater, cheats are, are there, obviously come out on top, but I am wondering if there's a bit of a strategy there on the placement. We'll see. Here's Knives though, Team Extra, like you said, has a lot of presence here in the West. They're looking to be the threat of the scene. Oh, great edit there for the ramp placement for the phase shot from Knives. Absolutely worked. His opponent. That well was played. beautiful. I would love to see a replay from the beginning of that where Knives went with the left shoulder peak. Well, actually, it was kind of forced into it, but still gets the pre fire to start that off. And the guy's like, oh, I have the advantage here. You're backing off after that trade. But Knives reads it perfectly, knows that that guy's going to try to phase into the box, phases his stairs preemptively, edits as the guy is pickaxing the wall and trying to place the stairs so he could phase through, but you've already got the shot. The quickness of that and the quick thinking is really, really nice from Knives. A good reason why he was top five in the Heat 2 yesterday. Lovely play. Big play. We'll see that come back shortly, but hold up. Here's Haps. There's Debo on height. No, Haps going to take the fall right <laughs> off the builds there. That's going to be a delivery for... What looks like is a launch pad and many other goodies. Haps is having a good game too. 162 points or a good tournament run so far. Last we checked, that cutoff was 181 points. I'm thinking it probably raised here. Here's that replay baller. Saw the big shot through the ramp phase there. Beautiful. We saw the points to qualify was 181 just moments ago. That's continuing to rise. We're looking at bank right now is at 160 outside of qual range, and that will not help. That will not help things going forward for bank. Uh, snipe off the top of the hill, and he has to spend time healing, wasting his minis. Now down to one. Only has four chug splashes remaining out of that. Just still a decent amount of heals, but seconds ago, he was in a much better position, and Seconds ago, it was 181. Now it's 193. 12-point difference in the last five minutes. Significantly rising. And we've got half an hour to go on cues. Let's talk about that. The fact that the points have only moved or budged by 10 means that things are neck and neck down there. That's the trading back and forth. No one's breaking away too far with the lead. The competition's stiff. Here on the NA West. Here's Epic Whale, though. Someone who hasn't got too much of a highlight today, but he's been up in the running. And it looks like he's going up against Lazar down in the low ground. Lazar has no idea the big shots from Epic. You know Epic Whale is looking to engage onto this one. This is going to be the Epic Whale special to walk into the box to cone in. And no, the Crash Pad is not going to allow him to get away. That is his ramp in that box as well. And the sidewall in there makes it look easy onto Lazar. Four eliminations here, Bala, for mm. Epic. That is a scary sight for anybody trying to contest in this game. Epic Well, when he gets rolling, is a feat to contend with. And if he's W King too, against players on East Ping, you know things are going to get nice. This is one of the players defending, defending hard for NA West. Another East player in front of him at Starving Aiden. And he oh gets the God. cone, although he missed oh it with the, with the glider gun. Unfortunately, it was trying to get a shot off, but instead he gets oh, the I opportunity for Aiden to launch away, but he actually went in the tree. I would love for him to beam him in the back. That would be fantastic. Imagine he gets sniped in the back from the same guy, but no. Epic whale. You know what's funny? He got kind of nerfed with the, uh, the change from authority. 
or from agency to authority with Jules' drum gun. The last one was so good, but he's still landing there and clearly still W King no matter what out of it. That's one of the reasons why they won FNCS duos was his proficiency out of the agency. Hey, but he's been flexible. At least he's resulted back to picking up that charged shotgun. So it shows you his idea and his thought of the state of the game and what how loadout he wants to play. He was notorious for only running drum gun in the previous. So <laughs> now we get to see those big shots, those big pop offs. Here's another East player. It looks like he's just on a target fest now. But that's all right. He's going to be able to play for positioning instead here. Cutting across that grappler range. Cheats RR is back at it again here on to find Ruski. He wants a piece of the action. Well, last we saw, he was getting into those boxes with the crash pads. Chucking them right in. No longer has that to play into his benefit this time. Let's see. Let's see what he can do without him. For those side angles. That is his wall. Great shot here. Looks for the double edit and the take two. The edit, nice. Making it work with the charge. You want the slower pullout time than the old pump. These pro players are so scary now that they've got the cadence down with the charge shotgun. You're seeing it come to work right there as I praise him. He hits another 90 shot, negating all the heals, slips into the build, and it's the burst to the close range here. And find Ruski's going to fall. Even with zone about to start, makes it work. A big build fight at the, basically the same spot that we left him. He does need to W key a little bit. He needs these eliminations. He needs a really, really big game. We're getting close to the end of NA West. And he's only at 115 or so points. So he needs a 100 point game to actually catch back up to pace in these last two. Epic Reet, otherwise known as just Reet, is flying in W King. 295. He's most likely already called. <laughs> he's going to break this guy down. Something that a lot of people don't realize is that, yeah, you connect in the water. It looks slightly different. He gets the wall, gets the cone. Box like Muhammad Ali. Reet destroys Silent. Just like that. Breaks his way into the 300 points range. And I think he wants to continue the pace here. Yes, he's going to pick up this additional launch pad. And the drop here coming right out. There it is. Nice little upgrade to the First rifle here. And yeah, I think he's feeling himself. That's right. He's going to continue to play spoiler for everyone in the lobby. He's got his eyes set on High Sky's territory, though. And High Sky opens up the box here to play a couple shots down. That's all right. He's going to manage to bounce back now. Let's see what he does here. I think he is on the pepper effect as well. The crash pad. He's going in. It's Groove. Who's on the other side? He's going to find the big shot. It's his wall, too. And another one for Reed walks through another enemy here. Monster, this is just epic. Two players right now, W King. Reed and Epic Whale. Both on either sides of the map. They might be joining through, but this might be a really big mistake right here for Reed. Going in against High Sky, who will box fight you right back. Will not end up getting boxed like a fish like the rest of these players. Although going down the back of this, High Sky has the reaction to hold that wall. Edits and then baits that shot out. Reet needs to be careful. He can't actually crawl back through based on the way that the ramp puts him up there. And he's going for it anyways. Reloading the shotgun every time to make sure that when this fight does go through, he'll actually be able to do this crash pad in. He's in, but he's gone. <laughs> no, that was just a replay bug. Still on top of high Hold sky up. and i Someone think now he to... chases somebody else so he's trying to get in this and i don't think this is what you want to do yep the control is gonna go to reed he's gonna walk <laughs> through him you stay out of this one he says let the big boys play over here and hold up now he gets the refresher he's at max material he's coming back i think the fact that high sky didn't get into the action when he had the opportunity there is going to give reed more of a reason to want to fight this one here the crash pad in he does it to another player and it's high sky who's running the control from the walls. This, this is how he does it. Ice guy's not gonna be able to escape here. No shield for him, Bala. It's not looking too good right now. No, it's not, especially with Cheats entering the fray too. He's gonna go for this fight 100%. Two players, juicy to find the E-limbs, but Ice guy makes it away. And I think at this point, get the heels up and leave. Try to get through out the back. No, Cheats is gone too, because Reek must have pumped him. 
very hard. He backs up Chug Splashes and does come back into it. High Sky tries to get away, but the fact that Cheats left means that Reitz finds his target again. He's like a heat-seeking missile. Going to go into this box, but High Sky is still trying to get away up above, not wanting to fight. Finally, he gets some support from the rest of the lobby. Finally, they start firing upon this fight. But that also could be a poison pill for High Sky as the rest of the lobby will start to pinch on him. Ooh. Now on the backside of this, Cheats is there too. Inside of this, Reit gets the Elim. Cheats, no siphon for him. High Sky got a little damage. A flopper to pop. Both sides take a little break. Now the 1v1 we really wanted to see. Reit, the big bad Wolfie in the equation. That's gonna be 96 to start it off. And again, he is just punishing everyone in his sight. And you can see that once he gets his ball rolling, he's not playing any games. This is why he's been at the top of the food chain over on the NA West scene. He's continued to show us why here on the main stage today, showing you guys why he's in top 10. And there it is, Cheats RR, the player who is on a momentous push. Another W yes. here through the game gets shut down. The one who actually needed the game that Reet is putting on right now, the one that actually needed it gets put down by Reet instead. Now we set this game up essentially to be a battle between the epics. Reet obviously a fan, usually named Reet Lull, but this time Epic Whale is in this game as well. The backside of this wall is actually taken and he will get it too. Yes, eight eliminations. He's on eight eliminations in the lobby. It's not letting him stop right now. The zone is favoring him. He hasn't had to move at all. Here we go. Is anybody gonna be able to stop him? Where is Epic Whale? Does he have a say? Can he stop one of his cohorts? One of his controller players that he's joined forces with, or is this just going to be re going through? Reverse 2K in the bottom left with an end game play. Three Elims before going down in what looks like the end game. Another box that he dives in. Reed is on a tear. Oh my gosh, here it is. The ninth elimination now. He's approaching that double digit mark. Players that are now approaching Skittles, Staff, all getting closer. Who's going to be able to dethrone Reed? It's his world right now. Let's go ahead and see. He's pushing another box here. He's trying to take control. I think he's going up for it. Yes, he is. He's making his way towards Nosh here. Nosh is one of those high ping players. Oh, it doesn't matter. He's going to walk through Nosh as well. He doesn't care how good Nosh is in a box fight on his servers. This is his territory and he's proving it right now. 10 eliminations. Big game for Reed here. He's playing for first now, Bala. Everybody right now is seeing Reet light up in the feed and they're hoping oh they're God. saying, Nosh me, no. it's Saf, no. it's Saf. Another big name, Saf down, Reet is on it. 11 Elims now and everybody's starting to collapse, but West is not shooting. West is not letting any, I mean, this would not be happening if these guys were shooting, but they don't have to care. No storm surge at all. And he's starting to really put this down. And that's kind of what we've seen. Everybody playing on the side of that threshold means that nobody really needs to go for these shots. Reach will continue up. He goes, yes, in the water. Oh he dives. Gosh. Another one in a pickaxe oh, on Starving Aiden. A pickaxe. 12 eliminations now. Reach. can anybody stop him? What are you doing? Absolutely marching through the lobby right now to his own tune and song here. He doesn't care. Re putting up the show, putting up the the wall, holding back the invasion of the East players. He's not messing around right now. He's here to put on the crown for West. <laughs> He's still doing it. Tronic is firing upon, thankfully, finally, somebody steals an Elim from him and does damage. That's what we needed to see. If anybody wanted to stop this madness, they would be just taking shots on the box that he's going through. Full W key, 44 minutes past the hour right now. He is certainly going to get into another game after this. Everybody thought, oh, I have time to play this out like a normal person. Reet is like, no, hold on. Like, why not? I'm already qualified. All I'm gonna do is stop anybody else from actually making it through. Don't forget who he's taking out. Saf, I mean, 
taken out Nosh. These guys were in the top 100. Mars is still a topic of consideration for him that pushed into this, but finally he slows down. And I say that just as he launches at another player, he's gonna be able to land. Yes, he's landing oh on the windmill to go for this up against, I can't quite see the name on the other side. The cone comes through, oh my goodness. You do not want this player to be at you. He knocks them all off the side, but continues to find a target. He's going through, and you're seeing the strength of the crash pads right now on an aggressive player. This guy's trying to wanna run away. Reed's not allowing it, though. He's pushing all the way through. We're seeing both of the perspectives. Look at the other side. He's just getting pinged up, and Reed or someone here. Yes, it is. He's going to take him out, and now back with Reed. He's in another box. Wraps that one up. See you later. 13 eliminations now. So much resource to bounce back on. So much resource to continue to play this game out. He's making it look like an opens day. And that was Bank, who we know needed limbs. A player on the cone does not even edit at its way too late. He's like, hold on, let me make sure he passes first, because you know he will hit those headshots back to back and instantly put you down. It's Domo too, an FNCS champion on the west side. He will go in the box with Booga. It's him for but 83 though. Yeah, he'll back off for a time. But Floppers will bring him right back up. He's like, okay, next person. That guy was a little aggressive. Let's go on to Mars. All right, wait a second, though. Now things are getting a little bit more dicey. It's close range. He doesn't care. He's showing the strength of the tactical shotgun in the state of the game. Another crash pad into the box. There it is. Looking for the shot. These are wooden builds. It's Mars. He's got pinched up now in the backside. Yes, he runs through. He's going to hit Mars. He's going to take the cone as well, making it look so easy. He's going to walk through Mars. And still, 14 eliminations for Reek. On fire, more crash pads. Who's next? It's Saturn, a no-name player. My goodness, taking down every single Titan, every single player in the galaxy. Booga's gonna get away. Now we're in end game. Let's see if he continues this. 14 eliminations, still so many. This could be one of the craziest W key games we have ever seen. The caliber of player in this lobby. Yes, there's a lot of players at disadvantage with NA East Ping. Booga, who has won three out of the seven games leading up to this, potentially going for another one in this game. Take notes, ladies and gentlemen. Re is on a tear here. And he's doing a great job reading the layers here. Look at this. He's going to actually break that player <laughs> off for a second. Love what he did there. He Forced got him it. to run away. It was actually Colazzo who's going to jump down. Someone we didn't even see. So many big names just hidden amongst the terror that we oh. is putting on in the server here. He's going to get tagged up hardcore now. 15 elite limbs. But it's okay. He's got plenty to bounce back with. The shields are going to go off. And now he's in a desperate situation. Can he find one more? Skittles is in the water here. He's putting pressure down from off above. He's going to be able to break this player down too. On the other side though, you see Booga trying to fight for his life. Oh it's defiable. Gosh. Reed's going to find it. Connecting with everything. Illusion here. And someone else. No HP. He's bouncing on in. You're just seeing him put this tactical to so much work. Another box. He's jumping in ball. He does not care. He's pushing yeah. through anybody and everybody. This lucky's going to fall as well. Hello, Oliver. In he goes. He's just putting this tactical to use every person he turns to see he has the response instantly on them we still have players in this who are competing against him booga is in a duel with this but he's completely eclipsed him with all these eliminations that he gets another one on the back side the wall oh comes in God. the wall comes in and area is down one more who is it smacky down below but no breakfast reach Right down now, going into the stairs down below. He has to actually escape this. It's getting too congested, but still has the response. Now on the defense, he might drop a 20 bomb. We got six players left. Definitely could actually contest with this. And still Booga, still 40 yard storm, still Coop. All top tier players that Reed is going in. Another one, crash pad two, he gets the wall. Yes, 19, one more kill. One more Elin will do this. Another one in the box. He goes, is. yes. Can is he it, it? No. Oh, he gets taken out right before the big 20. Right before the big 20. He almost had it, but still, it was his game, his lobby, his server. So many points he ac accumulated in that game. The most ridiculous run in that we've ever seen against this caliber of player, hands down.
But now it's toast with the high ground. Looking to close this out. It's a 1v1, Bala. Take it away. Toast first Coop could be impactful. Toast trying to get the win. He needs these points. He will have a chance for another game, but this 1v1 is basically a determining factor. Might be the same thing for Coop, but we don't quite know his points. So East player right now, the charge shotgun will go and he will win the fight. But what a game. So many stories were just unfolding in front. Toast, by the way, seven Elim, so a comeback story for him. But that game was ridiculous. We're going to need some time to break it down because that was ridiculous. So stay with us after this break. I don't wish I'd... Okay. Uh, re Bro, what are the chances there that he crash pads right in front of me? How do you actually know? He had 18 kills? What? Bro, 18 times 5, let's see. 90 points alone. The man... What? Bro, Reet was getting in. He's at least at 370 then. Plus the placement after, 50. 140. Like, bro, that's... You got 151 points, Reet, bro. What are you doing? Fifth? Bro, how do you... How do you get 19 kills? Like, actually, like, what did you do? Like, there's no way you play 19 fights smart, right? Like, you had to just exploit in. Crash pad in every box. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice.